Chinese civilization has been preserved over the centuries through the transmission of Chinese characters. In southern China, the Miao minority group records their history through embroidery. The Miao people do not have their own writing system, even though they speak their own distinct dialect. Through the techniques handed down throughout the generations, the Miao have recorded their history by weaving wonderful costumes. Miao embroidery is unique and is often referred to as a wordless historical record. If you head to Tiaodongnan in Guizhou province, you'll get the chance to see over 200 different kinds of traditional Miao costumes. They have a fantastic number of varieties, and it's one of the best places for preserving traditional Miao clothing. Many call it the Museum of Miao Clothing. Usually when people start looking to buy Miao clothing, they first consider going to a folk art market. In Guizhou, you can find all kinds of embroidery products, silver jewelry, modern Miao dresses, and even elaborate dresses used during holiday celebrations. However, none of these products are traditional Miao embroidery. A merchant introduced us to real Miao embroidery products. Traditional Miao products are usually expertly made and very expensive. Shidong craftsmen produce quality Miao embroidery. Girls in Shidong prefer to wear new clothing, and many of the older Miao costumes have already become antiques. People are hesitant to sell the clothing or even put them on display. Larger dresses usually retail for between 40,000 and 50,000 renminbi. Smaller pieces sell for around 30,000 and 40,000 RMB. China, with its different cultural backgrounds, has many different kinds of beautiful traditional costumes. Each of the different styles are very unique. But unlike other styles of dress, Miao costumes are usually treated as an important part of the cultural heritage. Modern techniques in industrial production has negatively affected the traditions of the Miao embroidery industry. Locals have now begun to apply for the intangible cultural heritage of humanity status. Yang Xiaohui, a researcher from the Guizhou Cultural Institute, introduced us to a large number of Miao villages that have stopped producing Miao clothing. The highest quality pieces are kept in a personal collection or are put for sale in the market. He's very worried about the future of Miao embroidery. People have gone through great lengths to pass on the techniques to the later generations. Exhibitions and competitions are some of the most popular events. Not far from Guizhou, Hainan province holds traditional weaving competitions each year on March 3rd. You can see all kinds of traditional clothing in China, but they're all beginning to face the same problems of fading interest and a loss in traditional techniques. Totems such as frogs, Hercules, horses and flowers are some of the most popular images in Miao embroidery. Different combinations of images carry different meanings. Every final piece is different and tells a different story. There are many different ways to weave Miao embroidery. There are over a hundred different Miao ethnic minority groups, and each has their own distinct clothing style. Clothing is very important and contains elements of their history and culture. Compared with the other four famous embroideries of China, Miao embroidery takes a lot of parental guidance. Yang Xiujin has been studying Miao embroidery since she was eight years old, and now she's 60. She has wonderful skills and is now worried about passing her skills on to the next generation. She mentioned that she wants to run a school in order to pass down her embroidery techniques. Now, I want to pass my skills down to the younger generation. I am almost 60 years old and my eyes are still very good, so I want to run a school and get people to help me. Nowadays, people are very smart, but they don't know about Miao embroidery. That makes me very sad.